Oh, Heather, if I asked you to think of a famous ladies' man, who comes to mind? Famous ladies' man? I'd probably say George Clooney. How about me? I thought you were going to say me. Oh, sorry. Okay, Alex me. Steiner. You meant me. Well, actually, uh, we're going way back in history. Possibly the most famous man of all, uh, who, who, know, who is a ladies' man, is at the center of a new show. Take a look. If you call someone a Casanova, you're pretty much saying that they're good with the ladies. But there is so much more to the 18th century Italian adventurer than just womanizing. In a new series on Amazon, actor Diego Luna portrays what could be one of history's most misunderstood men. Diego joins us now. Good morning, Diego. Hey, how are you? I'm doing really well. It's nice good to have morning. you on. So what is this show going to divulge about this character in history? Well, it's basically about everything people haven't said about him, you know. Yes, there is that aspect you were talking about, you know. He had this ability to enchant women. Uh, I think it was based in, in, in his ability to listen, you know. He was a great listener, uh, uh, which uh, helps you open almost uh, every door, you know, in life, uh, I think, if you have the patience and the attention to actually listen to someone. Uh, but besides that, he, he, he was an interesting man for many other reasons, you know. He was a spy. Uh, he was a, a, a guy that was very intelligent, that spoke four languages, that studied many things in life. He wrote books, he wrote theater, uh, and, uh, and, and, and this character, um, He's like a theater actor somehow, you know. Uh, his background is theater. Uh, he lived uh, backstage for 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 most of his childhood, and uh, he had this ability to make you believe the lie he wanted you to believe, uh, the the one you needed to hear in order to get personal and 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 make him part of your life. So it's an interesting man because he he is living on that edge always of 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 of. Uh, of actually creating a lie that might fall in a second, you know, and uh, through through the journey of this character, you you get to also experience and see uh, the France of the 18th century, that France that was awakening intellectually and sexually to uh, that is very exciting to 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 witness, you know. So it's a it's a show that that takes you around that process of, of, of the character reinventing himself. He gets out of jail in Venice and he has to escape. And when, once he escapes, he has to start from scratch. And, uh, and, and that's when the show starts. It's a fascinating, fascinating character study. And, you know, obviously, sometimes the most controversial people in history have the best lessons to teach us. Now, for you, was it more challenging to play an actual historical figure than, it, say, would be a fictional character? Well, the thing is, it's a historical figure, but not many know much about him, you know. You read about him and uh, and one book says the exact opposite of the other and then the other. And and you realize it's not that anyone's lying. It's just that, that that's how he was, you know. He never opened up. Uh, you, you could have been next to him for years without knowing who he was, you know. So it's an interesting character to portray because there's always that, that take, uh, that little bit of you that you can give to the character. Uh, uh, I connected with him uh, in his uh, background of theater, you know. That's where I connected because that's where I come from. And uh, and yes, it was challenging, uh, uh, but that's what you look for when when you when you get into a new project, you know, the the chance to actually explore something you've never explored. And I was definitely in a world I've never I've never been part of, you know. Shooting in the real locations. I mean, when I say the real locations, is is we were in Europe shooting with. Uh, against these buildings that had so much history, dressed in these very interesting costumes, with where where designers pay a lot of attention to detail. Uh, so it was we were living in a in an interesting world that uh, as 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 an actor gives you a lot of material to play with, you know. Yes, of course. And Casanova was announced on Amazon, and it's this new platform for people to consume content. Is this a better way to get people more invested in shows, do you think? 
Well, I think it's it's a more horizontal relation between those who are making the shows and those who are watching. You know, uh, uh, it's pretty interesting uh, the way Amazon is doing it. You know, basically we went to shoot the pilot uh, directed by a fantastic director called Jean-Pierre Genet, French guy that did Amelie, did Delicatessen, has I mean very talented man and uh, and we do this show but at the end we're not making any decision till the audience gets to watch it uh, so now you have to go to Amazon you can watch the the show and comment on the show and after we hear all of those comments is that Amazon decides uh, if the series is is being picked or not uh, and also where we take the series so it's it's finally the, the audience who has the, the chance to shape the content they're watching, you know? And, uh, and that is pretty unique, I think, you know? For many years, cinema and even TV alienated artists from audiences. And today, the connection is there. Diego, this is fascinating. Congratulations on the new show. And I, look, I really look forward to watching it. And thank you again for being on with us today. Thank you very much, and uh, yes, please watch Casanova on Amazon. All right, and again, Casanova premieres this Friday, August 7th on Amazon. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend will be right back.